Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Greek Mythology. I opened a treasure chest at Olympus. Chapter 1. Daughter of Kus, I will never allow the child in your womb to be born. In the vast sky, a dignifiedly dressed, graceful and beautiful woman stared coldly at the vast earth, her beautiful eyes revealing monstrous hatred. Where her gaze was locked, there was another beautiful woman, with her belly straight, who fled in embarrassment under the pursuit of a group of monsters. Hera, after the noble gods. I do not ask for your forgiveness, but my children are innocent, and they are also the blood of the king of gods, please let them go. The woman's face was full of despair, and she kept begging to the sky. She is the daughter of the celestial god Kuz and the light goddess Phoebe, and nurtured the goddess Leto. The graceful woman in the sky is the current goddess Hera, the daughter of the second-generation god King Cronus, the sister and seventh wife of the third-generation god King Zeus. HMPH, do you think I'll give you a chance? Seeing Leto begging for mercy, Hera's face was full of joy. She hates her husband the most, but she can't help the husband of the king of the gods, and can only take his lover out of anger. Leto was considered the most noble of her husband's lovers in the past few years. If she taught her a lesson, she would surely let other sluts know how powerful she was and would not dare to provoke her husband again. Thinking like this, she exerted her trance power and issued an order to infinity. In the name of the queen of the gods, all the land belonging to Olympus in the vast world is not allowed to provide Leto with a place to give birth. As soon as the voice fell, Leto, who was walking on the vast land, suddenly felt an incomparable force that was repelling her existence. All she could do was dash for the ocean outside. Then her stomach twitched. As the goddess of nurture, Leto of course knew that this was the birth of his own child. But although this land is vast, where is it that is not the territory of Olympus, can you give yourself a place to stay? God King, why haven't you come out yet, they are all your children. With grief and anger in his heart, Leto stared at Mount Olympus, the highest point in the world. But it was always calm there, and there was no reaction at all because of things outside. Looking at her expression, Hera laughed wildly. Don't you understand, to him, you are all playthings for a while. Only I am his only goddess. How could he turn against me for you? No, I don't believe. Leto's heart was desolate, and he clutched his stomach. She could feel that there were two robust lives in it, closely connected with herself. That is her child. No matter how ruthless their father was, he had to give birth to them and bring them into this world. Thinking so, she mustered up her strength and rushed frantically to the edge of the land. Hera frowned and said coldly, I didn't expect you to have strength, but I won't let you escape. She used her powers again. At this moment, in the distant ocean, a meteor-like light suddenly flew out, blocking her front. Asteria, Hera screamed, her face full of anger. The meteor turned into a goddess with a bright dress in the wind, and came to Leto, sister, hurry up, the island of Daros at sea can be used for your childbirth. Leto nodded gratefully to her, and hurried off to the ocean. Seeing this scene, Hera stamped her feet angrily. Although her husband is the king of the gods, the ocean is the domain of the sea emperor Poseidon. As the queen of gods, her power is only valid in the sky and land. Honorable goddess, you can't stop anything, let's watch my two nephews be born with peace of mind. Asteria, the meteor goddess, looked at Hera with a smile. She is also the daughter of the celestial god Kuz and the light goddess Phoebe, and the sister of Leto. Hera stared at her angrily, and then looked at Leto, who had reached the island. Suddenly she had a bad feeling that the two life breaths in Leto's stomach seemed to be too strong. It is quite close to the breath that the current goddess of wisdom exudes when she was still in her husband's head. Could it be two powerful lord gods again? No, this is absolutely impossible. How could she Leto have such a good life and give birth to two sons who are not inferior to Athena? Hera shook her head vigorously. Mount Olympus, in the huge temple. A figure of a king who had raised a lightning spear since the beginning, but had been hesitant, finally relaxed after seeing Leto entering the island. Fortunately, there is no need to confront Hera head on. Now the court needs to be stabilized. The fall between the king and the queen is very unfavorable to my rule. Having said that, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he said happily. The power fluctuations of the two children in Leto's belly are completely comparable to Athena. It seems that I will have two more powerful children, and my divine court will be more consolidated. Just as he speaks, 
Lado, who came to the island, looked contorted in pain and began to give birth. The whole island was shaking, and the sky was filled with bright light at the same time. The light of the west first appeared, it was a cold and clear silver-white brilliance, similar to the bright silver moon, but more holy and arrogant than the silver moon. In the east, the splendid morning light slowly rises. The golden light is like flowing gold, dazzling and dazzling, even covering the brilliance of the sun, bringing infinite light to all living beings on the earth. All over the world, both the Olympian gods and the Titans, were shocked by this amazing vision. All the gods knew that the third generation king of the gods gave birth to two more powerful descendants. I am afraid that it will not be long before Olympus will raise two towering thrones of the Lord God. Just hearing a crisp cry, a silver-haired baby girl, full of cold moonlight, flew out of Leto's body. Looking at her beautiful and beautiful face, a happy smile appeared on the corner of Leto's mouth. My daughter, you are born with the light of the silver moon. I give you the name of Artemis. May you be like the silver moon in the night, forever hanging in the sky, and the holy light shining on the stars. Leto Su said, her face showed pain again, and a more radiant and dazzling golden baby slowly drilled out of her body. The light of the whole world brightened a few minutes at this moment. Among the many moving gods, a handsome baby boy with blonde hair and golden eyes, bathed in the splendid morning light, slowly watched the world. Leto smiled and struggled to sit up, and said to the blonde baby boy, My son, you were born with the ray of the sun, and I gave you the name of Apollo. May you be like the immortal blazing sun, bringing morning light and light at dawn. The fire dispels the darkness. Apollo, I am Apollo. Chin Ching listened in disbelief to the words of the woman in front of her, who was filthy but still beautiful. Not long ago, he was still playing a game with a fantasy background at home, and finally passed the level and got the legendary supreme treasure chest. Click to turn it on, and then it goes black. When I woke up, I found myself in a golden light, my body became a newborn baby, and my whole body was full of strange power. Then the beautiful woman who gave birth to herself seriously named herself, Apollo. Isn't that the name of the god of light in Greek mythology? Because the extracurricular readings of the nine-year compulsory education include Greek mythology, apart from the mythology of his own country, what Chin Ching knows best is the Greek mythology. Apollo is one of the most famous gods in Greek mythology. Many people regard him as the sun god. In fact, the sun god in Greek mythology has always been the titan god Helios, and Apollo is the god of light. It's just that he is too famous, and many deeds of Helios have been placed on his head. After playing a game by myself, I actually traveled to Greek mythology and became Apollo. If it weren't for the abundant and powerful divine power in his body, and the beautiful and kind woman in front of him, all of which were so real, Chin Ching would definitely think that he was dreaming. When he was stunned, a slender and soft cold palm patted his shoulder. Chin Ching turned her head to look, the silver-haired girl who was born one step ahead of her, with a pestle behind her, was looking at herself with worried eyes. Artemis, goddess of the hunt. The identity of the other party suddenly appeared in his mind. This is a very famous goddess, later one of the twelve main gods of Olympus, and one of the three virgin goddesses, a symbol of noble and pure. Often compared to the most famous goddess of wisdom, Athena. Also my current sister. Yeah, I'm already Apollo. His body shook suddenly, Chin Ching sighed leisurely. Brother, brother, are you? Dot all right. Artemis' delicate eyes were full of concern and worry. She was just born, although she was talented, she was not very good at speaking. Chin Ching. No, Apollo shook his head with a smile, his handsome face exuded a golden color, and his fingertips gently stroked Artemis' silky silver hair. Perhaps it was because of the twin siblings, just as Artemis could sense Apollo's unrest at a glance. Apollo could also feel the emotions in Artemis' heart, which was so gentle and arrogant, that people couldn't help but have a desire to protect. Seeing the closeness of the two children, Leto couldn't help but smile. At this time, Asteria appeared on the island like a meteor, poking fun at Apollo and Artemis, and said with admiration, Sister, you are so lucky to have two such beautiful children at once. Leto looked at his sister with grateful eyes and said, Isn't your Hecate also very beautiful? I heard that goddess Nyx likes her very much, she is going to recognize her as her goddaughter, and she also persuaded his majesty Pluto to appoint her as the deputy of the underworld. Well, our children are all beautiful and lovable. 
Asteria walked up to Apollo with a smile, stretched out her white hands, and rubbed his handsome face with a smile. Apollo is a little confused. He is only somewhat familiar with Greek mythology. He knows the name of Hecate, the goddess of chance, the deputy ruler of the underworld, but he lacks awareness of this Asteria ant. Although she looks beautiful, she can't rub a boy's face like that. He tried to struggle out of the clutches, but sad find. Although he is a well-known main god in the future, when he was just born, his divine power is far inferior to the meteor goddess who has already reached his peak. As long as he dodges, he will not be able to escape the destruction of the white palm. Until the mother Leto said worriedly, Asteria, is Hera gone? Asteria became serious, nodded and said, You didn't see her angry and unwilling look just now. I can also understand that her two sons, Hephaeth and Ares, are so ugly and rough. Seeing our lovely and beautiful Artemis and Apollo, it will inevitably be unsatisfactory. Leto breathed a sigh of relief. It's good that she leaves, I'm just afraid that she won't let my child go. Asteria said, Sister, don't worry, Artemis and Apollo are very powerful, and it won't take long for them to grow up and become powerful gods. Hera is the one to be afraid of, yourself. With these two children, you don't have to be afraid of being bullied by her in the future. Leto looked at the cheeks of the two children lovingly, and said softly. I just want to watch them grow up and become great gods, and the rest are not important to me now. Looking at her expression, Asteria couldn't help but sigh, her face filled with anger. The ruthless fellow of Zeus, even if he doesn't have feelings for your sister, Artemis and Apollo or his children, but he didn't show up from beginning to end, and the child was born with the name of your sister. Quote. Leto's face was full of bitterness, and he said faintly, after all, he is the greatest king of the gods. Whether it is me or other goddesses, he is just a passerby in his life. Having said that, she said to Asteria, don't worry about me, when Apollo and the others grow up, I will go back to accompany God the Father and Goddess and will no longer appear outside. Listening to the dialogue between the mother and the two, Apollo couldn't help but be full of anger. Greek mythology is a cruel, chaotic and unbearable world. The face of the gods here is far more ugly than the mortals, full of filth and filth, and the most hateful of them is Zeus. In fact, he can understand Hera's persecution of her mother. There is no wife who does not hate her husband's other women. But Zeus, the god-king, is not worthy of being a man and a father at all. She is flirtatious, ruthless is better than sentimental, has no sense of responsibility, and only has her own power and position in her eyes. But in Greek mythology, he is always the king of gods, and no one can overthrow him. Apollo felt helpless. As far as he knew, the theme of Greek mythology was fate. Unless fate dictates, no one can shake the rule of Zeus. Several gods predicted to overthrow Zeus' rule have long been strangled by Zeus. In a knowable destiny, he will always rule over the gods. Fate. Apollo was very unwilling. At this moment, he suddenly noticed that a strange light spot had been appearing in the lower right corner of his eyes. Hey, isn't this the click mark on the personal panel in that game? When Apollo was surprised, he focused his attention on the light spot, and an illusory light curtain suddenly appeared in front of him. Host name, Apollo. Race, Greek Protoss. Blood level, the ninth order of the Lord God. Strength level, Intermediate God Elementary. Occupation. Light, Medicine, Music, Prophecy. Item. None. Quote. Looking at the panel in front of him, Apollo couldn't help being stunned. The panel of the game actually followed through, and this. He looked to the side of the panel again, where a huge map appeared. The system map also appeared. These light spots are the game as if it is a treasure chest in the game. Apollo's expression moved. He suddenly cast his eyes behind Artemis. Artemis looked at him strangely, and Apollo slowly walked to her side. A. Hey, Bo. Luo, what are you, doing? Artemis looked curious, as Apollo was raising his arms to the air. Sure enough, am I the only one who can see? Apollo didn't answer, and stared tightly in front of him. In his sight, there was a small black box. The style is very familiar. It's the treasure chest in the game. The moment he touched the box, a voice suddenly appeared in his mind. Found a primary treasure chest one, do you want to open it? Apollo resisted and did not change color, and said in his heart, open. 
The treasure chest in his hand suddenly emitted a ray of light, and a voice appeared in his mind at the same time. You opened a primary treasure chest and obtained Divine Origin Crystal II, specializing in painting. In an instant, a lot of knowledge about painting emerged in Apollo's mind, and at the same time two small crystals appeared in his palm. It is true. Feeling the soft power of the two spar stones in his hand, Apollo was very excited. The system panel in the game has also passed through, and the items in the treasure chest in the game have actually become real in this world. Focusing on the two spar in his hand carefully, Apollo calmed himself down. Seeing that his mother Leto was still chatting with his aunt Asteria, he winked at Artemis, and his sister, who was born with the same heart, immediately understood what he meant. Although curious, Artemis could not refuse his younger brother. Some reluctantly came to the mother too to attract attention. Apollo then quietly walked away. Come to a corner of the island. He carefully looked at the two spar in his hand. In that game, the source crystal is a spar that can help the gods improve their power. Apollo tried to instill a little of his own power into them. Suddenly, the two spar stones radiated a stream of heat and merged into his body. In an instant, Apollo felt that his divine power was much stronger. What surprised him even more was that the origin of his own bloodline seemed to be strengthened. The gods of Olympus, the bloodline of birth is a very important thing, which almost determines future achievements. As a god with a prophetic vocation, Apollo was born with a lot of knowledge. The realm of strength of the gods, from low to high, is roughly the lower god, the middle god, the upper god, the main god and the primordial god. What realm can be reached is already predestined from birth, and it is almost impossible to surpass the innate shackles. My bloodline level is the ninth rank of the Lord God, which shows that as long as I reach the age of adulthood, I will have the strength of the Lord God of the sixth and seventh orders, and then after countless years of water grinding, I can probably reach the eighth and ninth order of the Lord God, but I want to surpass the Lord God realm, it is basically impossible to advance to the realm of the primordial God. In the Greek Protoss, although acquired practice also exists, and there are things like magic and sorcery, but they are not very effective. The innate blood is decisive, but these spark can actually improve my blood. Apollo's eyes were a little hot. The ninth rank of the main god is actually a very powerful bloodline level, and he recommends the high rank of the main god. You must know that even Zeus, even though he is the king of gods, is still one of the twelve main gods. If he wants to break through to the realm of the primordial god, he may experience countless thousands of years of accumulation, and there will be a slight possibility. But if his bloodline level can be enhanced to the level of the original god, the probability of reaching the realm of the original god in the future will far exceed that of Zeus. I need to open more treasure chests. Apollo turned his gaze back to the map, which was densely lit with dots of light. Zooming in, most of them show, elementary, and, intermediate, a few places show, advanced, and one shows, god rank. God level treasure chest, the temple of the god of Mount Olympus, high level treasure chest, the main hall of the sea emperor god's palace. Why are they all in these places? Apollo had a toothache. It's not easy for him to leave the island now. By the way, this island seems to be called Darrow's Island. The intermediate treasure chest, the grove of Darrow's Island. Apollo looked left and right, and sure enough he found a grove. Walk quickly into the woods. Sure enough, under a few lush trees, lay a small red box, much more gorgeous than the previous one. He walked over to pick it up, meditated and opened it. Immediately, a voice sounded in my heart. You opened an intermediate treasure chest and obtained the Divine Artifact Sun Golden Sword 1 Star Divine Origin Crystal 10. Apollo looked down and saw a long sword with bright golden light appearing beside him, and ten brightly colored spar appeared in his palm. He put away the ten spar and picked up the golden long sword. The moment he grasped it in his hand, a sharp and scalding heat flow suddenly poured into his body from the long sword. What a mouthful of divine sword, the rank has reached the top grade divine weapon. Apollo's eyes lit up. Just like the division of gods, the levels of artifacts in this world are also divided into low-grade artifacts, medium-grade artifacts, high-grade artifacts, main artifacts, and primitive artifacts. Even the best craftsman of the gods, he faith, the god of fire, needs a lot of work to create a high-quality artifact. But in the system logo, it is only a one-star level. I remember that there were four-star and five-star items in the game. If you get this world, 
what level of artifact is it? I want to find a way to leave this island earlier and open more treasure chests. In the depths of the jungle, the clear water rushes through. Two vigorous wild deer are happily drinking the stream water, bathing in the cool spring breeze, with a comfortable expression. Suddenly, a silver-white light and shadow flashed through the bushes in the distance. Under the gloomy light, a young girl with a small head was squatting at an unknown time. Her silver hair shone in the gloom, and the dense bushes could not completely conceal her graceful and vigorous figure. She stared at the wild deer in the distance with her bright eyes. Holding a gorgeous bow and arrow like a silver moon in his hand, he aimed sharply at the target like a leopard staring at its prey. Just after drinking the water, the two wild deer were about to run into the woods. Whoosh! A silver white arrow flashed a silver moon like arc in the air. A wild deer fell in response. The sudden fall of the companion caused the other wild deer to panic, and they threw their hooves and ran deep into the woods. On the other side of the bush, a golden arrow suddenly flew out. Brilliant like the sun, with a plop, the wild deer also fell. In the dark bush, slowly walked out of a tall and handsome young man, with short golden hair surging with brilliant colors in the hazy light. With a golden bow and arrow in his hand and a quiver on his back, he looked at the side with a smile and said, Artemis, your archery has improved. In the bushes, the silver-haired girl also walked out with a bow and arrow. She glanced at the fallen prey with her crystal-clear eyes. She raised her head and said seriously, it's still not as good as you, I am the goddess of hunting. Hearing the dissatisfaction in her words, Apollo laughed loudly, the goddess of hunting is not the god of archery, so it's okay to be inferior to me in archery. When he said this, Apollo thanked the treasure chest with archery proficient in his heart that he had opened a few years ago. It has been ten years since he came to this world, and he has not had a chance to leave Darrow's island all these years. The treasure chests of the system above the advanced level will only appear in some specific locations, while the primary and intermediate treasure chests will appear immediately, refreshed every once in a while, and like to appear beside the host. The primary treasure chest is refreshed about once a year, and the intermediate treasure chest is about five years. Advanced and God level Apollo haven't seen the refresh yet, so I don't know the exact time. In the past 10 years, he has opened 7 or 8 primary treasure chests, and already has one intermediate treasure chest. The most obtained is the source crystal, and the others are some common skills, such as archery mastery, fishing mastery, sculpture mastery and so on. The only intermediate treasure chest is to open a magic spell called, Bright Vision, with a 1 star mark. With the assistance of dozens of divine source crystals, Apollo quickly reached the realm of a higher god. This made Artemis, who was still at the peak of the Median god, very unhappy and felt that he had lost the majesty of his sister. However, in terms of bloodline, although it has been strengthened a lot with the help of the source crystal, it is still far from the level of the original god. Apollo felt that at least tens of thousands of divine origin crystals, or more advanced heavenly origin crystals in the game, were needed to transform the bloodline. When he was lost, Artemis skillfully picked up the prey on the ground, and said at the same time, I feel the boiling of blood, and it won't take long for me to reach the realm of the upper god. Apollo couldn't help but look sideways, his sister's talent was indeed very powerful. Just relying on his own training, he has reached the realm of breaking through the upper gods in ten years. If there is no divine source crystal to assist, he may not be faster than her. According to this progress, it will take up to a hundred years for her to grow to the level of the main god, and she will not stop at the middle and lower levels of the main god, but at least reach the level of the fifth or sixth order of the main god. Seemingly seeing his thoughts, Artemis' silver eyes showed a touch of determination, and said softly, As long as we all become the main gods, mother will no longer worry about us, and we can also get out of this small island and go to the outside world. Apollo smiled and nodded, his fingertips stroked her silky silver hair, this day will not be far away. He looked to the vast sky. There is a wider world and more treasure chests. If it wasn't for their lack of strength and fear of being persecuted by Hera, how could they live on this small island? Feeling the temperature of Apollo's fingertips, Artemis' cheeks were a little crimson, and his bright eyes secretly stared at the handsome face with sharp edges and corners, like a delicate sculpture. Unconsciously, the younger brother seemed to be more than half a head taller than himself, and his stature was so tall and straight. No. He must not be left behind. 
you have to exercise hard, become stronger, and protect your brother and mother. With this idea in mind, Artemis asked Apollo to continue to pack up his prey, and he continued to hunt with a bow and arrow. She is the goddess of the hunt, the embodiment of the cruelty of nature. Only by constant hunting can the potential of the bloodline be stimulated faster. Apollo also knew this, and followed her with a faint smile. While their siblings were hunting on Darrow's island. On Mount Olympus, Hera sat on the throne belonging to the goddess with a face full of hatred. She said unwillingly, Why, you can give birth to two such beautiful and powerful children, and one of my children is ugly and the other is just a savage idiot. Seemingly feeling her anger, the surrounding flowers closed up shrinkingly, and the nymph fairies also quietly hid outside. Since she came back ten years ago, the goddess has been getting angry all the time, and no one dared to touch her brow again. After an unknown amount of time, Hera finally calmed down. A pair of beautiful eyes stared at the islands at sea, she gritted her teeth and said. I can't let those two children grow up smoothly. One Athena is enough. I will never allow my husband's heirs to add two more main gods who are not my children. Suddenly, she invites her pet. It was a huge boa constrictor with its head lowered and said respectfully, after the honorable gods, what are your orders? Hera looked at him and said lightly, Pai Tong, you should know Leto's two children, I want you to go to Darrow's island and eat them for me. This, the giant python showed an embarrassed look. After the honorable gods, those two are the children of his majesty the king of God. I am afraid that I will be slashed to ashes by angry lightning. Hera looked at it coldly. Then you are not afraid of the consequences of angering me. The giant python shrunk his head and his body trembled. Hera said. I will let his majesty the king of God not know about this. After the honorable gods, your will is my direction. The python hurriedly said. Watching the giant python leave, a smile appeared on Hera's glamorous face. Pai Tong's strength is not bad among the upper gods. Even if Leto's two children have extraordinary talents, they can reach the peak of the median god in ten years at most. They can't be Pai Tong's opponents at all. With this estimation, Hera's face softened a lot called a nymph and instructed. Go to his majesty the king of God and say that I will invite him to come here. Ning Fu was very surprised. The god king has always wanted to ease the relationship with the god queen all these years, but the god queen ignored it. Why did your attitude suddenly change today? She didn't dare to ask more. She quickly came to the temple of the god king at the highest point of Olympus and conveyed Hera's words. Zeus was also a little surprised. Does she finally know my pains? With that in mind, he came to Hera's residence without thinking much. Dot dot dot. On Darrow's island, Apollo said to the distance, Artemis, today is almost done, let's go back. Suddenly, his face changed suddenly. The golden eyes suddenly appeared with dawn-like brilliance, burning like flames. Sight of the sun. This magical technique was opened in the intermediate treasure chest last year. It can give the gods the ability to illuminate and observe every corner of the earth like the sun in the sky, and at the same time, it can emit scorching rays of light, burning the things in sight to ashes. As a god with a prophetic vocation, Apollo's intuition has always been keen. At this moment, he unhesitatingly displayed this divine technique, and under the bright light of his eyes, the forest in front was shrouded in a dark shadow. And in that layer of shadows, there is a huge basilisk, lurking carefully, with cold eyes with bloodthirsty rays of light. Apollo's expression condensed, and he hurriedly shouted, Artemis, be careful. Artemis, who had returned from hunting in the woods behind, heard his cry, his expression changed, and he immediately took out his bow and arrow. But it was already too late, the huge basilisk body flew around, like a poisonous arrow from the string, launching a rapid attack. Boom! The mountain-like snake tail cut through the air and slammed down on Artemis' head. The powerful force shattered the surrounding formations, and the entire Darrow's island trembled. Artemis was agile, and at the critical moment, he narrowly avoided the blow. But the divine power entrained in the snake's tail still knocked her into the air. Artemis, Apollo's eyes were filled with blazing light, his figure turned into bright golden light, and he came to his sister's side in an instant. Puff! Artemis slumped to the ground, his delicate cheeks as pale as paper, when he saw Apollo's arrival, he coughed out a mouthful of blood. How are you? No. Don't worry, worry, I'm fine, it's fine. Supported by Apollo, 
Artemis spoke weakly. Apollo hurriedly used his divine power to investigate. He had a clergy in medicine, and a few years ago, he also found medical proficiency in a treasure box. The investigation found that although the injury was not light, but fortunately Artemis was very strong and did not reach a fatal level, which was a sigh of relief. At this time, the giant basilisk in the distance said with a grinning smile, a mere mere god who can only be injured under my all-out attack. It really deserves to be the bloodline of His Majesty the God King. No wonder the Queen wants me to eradicate you. You were sent by Hera. Apollo looked at it coldly. I am the most trusted servant of the Queen of God, Pai Tong, the great master of snakes and pythons, remember this name, this is the last name you can hear in your life. The basilisk grinned fiercely, and the majestic divine power poured out of his body, and he launched an offensive with a bang. Be careful, Artemis shouted worriedly. Apollo gave her a faint smile, suddenly pulled out the golden sun sword in his hand, and slashed towards the fast-approaching basilisk. Laugh! The dazzling sword light burned golden brilliance in midair, and fell on the huge body of the basilisk like thunder. Pai Tong let out a scream, and his huge eyes looked at the young man with short blonde hair in disbelief. God, how is this possible, you were born only ten years ago, and this sword, a high-grade artifact, and it is still of the highest quality. Its tone was full of panic. Apollo didn't give it a chance to talk nonsense, the golden eyes burst out with the light of dawn, and the blazing light was like the flame of the sun in the sky, surging towards Pai Tong's body. I don't believe how capable a ten-year-old god can be. Pai Tong bit the sheku, and the huge body suddenly swelled several times, like a moving mountain fort, rumbled towards Apollo. But just halfway, the blazing light from Apollo's eyes burned on its thick scales. Brilliant flame with unparalleled high temperature, burning spread on the surface of its body. At first it didn't care. As a pet of the Queen of Gods, it is not considered weak among the upper gods. Even the flames of the sun god Helios' chariot would not be able to burn through its own scales for a short period of time. Young gods are stupid, if you use the golden sword in your hand, you may have to avoid one or two. But now using this flashy flame magic, this is fate doomed to your death. Pai Tong's icy eyes were full of bloodthirsty ferocity, and the icy aura permeated his body, exuding majestic divine power. At this moment, it suddenly felt a strong burning heat in its abdomen. Looking down, the sturdy scales that he was proud of were rustling under the splendid flame, burning red and cracking piece by piece. The scorching heat flowed in violently, and the flesh under the scales was charred and shriveled. Suddenly, Pai Tong let out a tragic roar. The blazing fire burned brightly. Pai Tong screamed and rolled on the ground, his huge body rampaged, and the entire Darrow's island shook. But no matter how it rolls, the flames on its body are difficult to extinguish, instead it burns more and more vigorously, and the splendid light spreads over most of the snake's body. Hearing Pai Tong's tragic cry, Artemis' pale face flickered, and he looked at the tall and straight figure exuding infinite golden light in front of him. Apollo felt her gaze and supported her softly, his eyes blazing, this is the punishment it should get for hurting my dearest sister. Artemis stared at the tenderness on his handsome cheeks under the brilliant golden light, and his pale cheeks couldn't help but turn a touch of ruddy, and grabbed Apollo's palm. The roar in the distance grew louder. Pidung's huge snake body was crazily twisted on the ground and was swallowed up by the gorgeous flames. In the firelight, he pleaded, son of the great king of the gods, spare me, I already know your majesty, and all this is also the queen of gods. It's not my intention to instruct. Apollo's eyes were indifferent, and he ignored his words in the slightest, omitting more blazing light, and the golden flame completely enveloped the giant python. Ten years after he came to this world, his sister Artemis was his closest relative, and no one could hurt her without bearing his wrath. The golden light burst out, the flames burned, and the turbulent heat evaporated in the air like a tidal wave, and the whole island was glowing red. Pai Tong's huge body was burned to dryness, scales and flesh were turned to ashes, only the bones were still wriggling, hideous and ugly. In desperation, it roared, Apollo, the Queen of God will not let you go, and in front of you will be the eternal dark abyss. Accompanied by the roar, the giant python struggled to exert its last strength, urging its divine power, and roaring towards where Apollo was located. The struggle to die, Apollo sneered, and the golden sword of the sun was suddenly cut out from his hand. Laugh, a brilliant sword light fell on Pai Tong's head. 
With a click, the hide and the ugly snake head snapped. Artemis looked at this scene a little absently. Pai Tong, the lord of snakes and pythons, is a god of the upper god level, and he is not the weakest kind. It was killed so easily. Has the younger brother's strength reached such a level without noticing it? Looking at the tall figure standing in front of him, Artemis felt both joy and sadness in his heart. Why am I so useless? I need to rely on my younger brother to protect him, obviously I want to protect him more. Artemis clenched his palms. God chaos, is this Pitung? Mother Leto's exclamation came from a distance. The goddess of nurturing arrived in panic, and saw the huge snake body on the ground scorched black by the flames, and her son standing tall and straight in front of the fire, her eyes were extremely surprised. Immediately, she noticed her daughter's pale face, and came to Artemis worriedly, My child, what happened? Artemis hugged Leto softly. Mother, Hera sent it to kill us, but Apollo has killed it, we are all fine, don't worry. Hearing Hera's name, Leto's body trembled. Looking at the huge and hideous snake corpse in front of her, she said angrily, why can't she let you go? She should also target me in everything, you are just innocent children. Apollo walked over to her and said softly, Mother, don't be afraid, we have grown up, she can't hurt us. Leto looked at his son who had just reached his shoulders, then looked at the fallen snake corpse as high as a hill, and hugged Apollo tightly. Child, you are my pride, you can kill Pai Tong at the age of ten, and you will definitely be the greatest god in the future. But I don't want you to achieve much, I just want to see you and your sister can be happy, no any danger. At the end, her eyes filled with tears, and she hugged both children tightly. Both Apollo and Artemis stayed in their mother's arms obediently, with determination in their eyes. If you want to live a happy life in the Protoss, you can only have a strong power, so that you can protect your loved ones. Brother, you should think so too. Quote, but just like my mother only wants us to be happy, I only want you to be happy, and I will bear the rest. We are twin spirits, and I will always protect you, not be protected by you. Looking at his mother and brother secretly, Artemis' beautiful cheeks were full of strength. Dot dot dot. On Mount Olympus, Zeus lay comfortably in bed. Concentrating on the beautiful and familiar woman beside him, he felt a little strange in his heart. How many years, since becoming a goddess, my youngest sister has never had such a style. Once upon a time, he was so addicted to her. The smart and arrogant goddess of wisdom, Meiti, the just and solemn goddess of justice, Themis, the plump and caring second sister, Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, and the versatile and gentle goddess of memory, Nemozine. Before that, I had six as a wife, he gave birth to many children. I never thought of making them queens. Only Hera really moved herself. But after becoming a goddess, she lost her former charm, and she could only keep looking for other goddesses. Just today, after so long a cold war with myself. But today, she has completely returned to the past. Bright and eye-catching, so beautiful that it feels unreal. When Zeus fell into his reverie, the beautiful woman next to him suddenly let out a harsh roar. Broke his fantasy and brought him back to reality. What are you doing? The king of the gods didn't have time to respond. I saw that the gentle and considerate wife just now kicked him violently. Zeus flew out. On the ground he saw Hera roaring into the distance. Hera, are you crazy? Zeus got up on the ground angrily, his eyes full of anger. If I'm crazy, I'll be driven crazy by you. Hera unabashedly responded to his gaze, her beautiful eyes filled with flames. She gritted her teeth and said, Who am I? Your wife, after the gods, is also the protector of marriage. But I can't even protect my own marriage. You are outside every day with other goddesses, and you have given birth to so much. Child, have you ever thought about how I feel? Zeus was stunned by her sudden questioning, and after a while he responded coldly. You still don't know my painstaking efforts. If I didn't love you, would I make you my only god-queen? But you have to know that you can be a god-queen because I am a god-king. As he said that, he put on his clothes and continued. Since I became the god-king of Olympus, which Poseidon or Hades has not secretly coveted my throne. Although the titans were defeated, only one-third of them were imprisoned in Tartarus, and the rest still wanted to restore their former glory all the time. I needed enough combat power to maintain my rule. Quote. What is the best way to gain combat power? Of course, it is marriage and childbirth. 
I have hooked up with many goddesses over the years, but they have also become my supporters because of this, and have given birth to many powerful children for me, so the rule of Olympus was solid. Hera was stunned for a while, and then sneered, this is just your deceitful words, can't I have children, you must find those sluts. Hera, you still don't understand me. Zeus sighed, did not say anything more, and walked slowly into the room. When he came outside, there was a hint of coldness on the corner of his mouth. Why do you want to find other goddesses? Hee hee, Uranos and Cronus were very devoted at the beginning, and the children were born with their own goddesses, but then the mother of the earth, Gaia's instigation, the twelve titans rebelled. Uranos. Our six siblings can defeat Cronus, and the role of Mother Rhea in it is also huge. It's because they are too devoted. There is only one wife, and the children all live together. Once the husband and wife break up, they can encourage all the children to rebel against their fathers. How can I repeat their mistakes and let all children be born by one person? My rule can be stable only if they are scattered, each woman will only give birth to one or two powerful children for me, and if you are at odds with each other and cannot be united. Quote, Hera, do you understand my painstaking efforts? After Zeus left, Hera sat on the throne with a frosty face. A crystal appeared in his hand. Inspired by divine power, the crystal appeared in the scene of Apollo beheading Pai Tong. Looking at the picture in the crystal carefully, she said with jealousy. How could this be? He has the ability to kill Pai Tong at the age of 10. If I let him grow up, won't I be ridden by the woman Lado? The ocean is Poseidon's territory, and Zeus should have noticed some problems. If I do it myself, he will definitely be discovered by him. Saying so, she suddenly thought of someone. If it was him, he would definitely kill them on the ocean. After making up her mind, she called Nymph, go to the ocean and invite the son of the ruler of the ocean, the god of whirlpools, Aceros, to see me. Dot dot dot, Darrow's Island, the meteor goddess Asteria, who just arrived, was surprised to hear what her sister said, and looked at her nephew, who had not been seen for a few years, and had grown into a handsome young man in disbelief. My dear little Apollo, you actually killed Pai Tong. Even if I had to deal with Pai Tong, it would take a lot of effort. How old are you? She went up to rub Apollo's cheeks, and found that the latter had been able to dodge her palms, so she couldn't help blinking. Leto said to her, I'm afraid that Hera will send the gods to harm them again, and I plan to go to the father and mother to hide for a while. Asteria frowned and said, It's nothing for you and Artemis to go to your father's place, but Apollo killed Pitung, who was Hera's pet and a god conferred by Olympus. If Hera uses the power of the goddess to ask the goddess Themis to come forward, she can bring Apollo back to the judgment of Olympus. Although the goddess Themis has always been fair, but at Olympus, everything will be in the hands of Hera, so Apollo cannot be allowed to go to his father. Quote. Leto's face changed, and he said anxiously, what should I do? Asteria thought for a while and smiled. You can let little Apollo go to live with me Hecate for a while. She is favored by the goddess Nyx, and the power of the sky, the earth, the ocean, or the underworld cannot be restrained by her. Leto also nodded. She's really suitable there, just to trouble you. Apollo's expression changed, and he suddenly asked, as cousin Hecate on Livia Island. Well, I'll take you there right away. Asteria nodded. Apollo silently opened the map board, and there were many treasure chest locations, four of which displayed high-level treasure chests, and one displayed god-level treasure chests. Two of the five chests are in Olympus, one is on land, and the other two are in the ocean. One of them is at Neptune Shrine, and the other is near Rivia Island. Okay, to prevent Hera from starting immediately, let's leave first. Asteria said to Leto. Leto and Artemis looked at Apollo reluctantly. The latter smiled and said to them, don't worry, Asteria Ant will definitely take good care of me. Artemis' eyes were a little red, and he grabbed him quietly, I will work harder with the ancestors. Next time I see you, I will protect you. I believe in you. Apollo smiled brightly and said goodbye to her. Asteria Ant, it should be coming soon. Bathed in the brisk sea breeze, Apollo looked ahead from the sky. Looking around, Asteria nodded and said, there are still hundreds of miles left, and we will be there soon at our speed. A hesitant expression suddenly appeared on the face of the meteor goddess, and she thought for a while before saying, Little Apollo, 
when you arrive at Rivia Island, if Hecate does anything strange, don't pay attention to her. Asteria Aunt, why do you say that? Apollo wondered. Asteria looks a little complicated. Sister Leto should have told you that my daughter is a very good god, but she likes to delve into strange things. Even my mother can't understand her behavior. Especially after being approved by the goddess Nyx, she was out of control. She lived alone on the island. My husband was imprisoned by Zeus in Tartarus again, and no one disciplined her. Apollo couldn't help but become more curious about this cousin. In the Greek mythology he knew, Hecate, the goddess of chance, was also a god of special status. She is not under the jurisdiction of the sky, the earth, the ocean, or the underworld, and at the same time, she has a high status in these places. Zeus in the sky should respect her three points, and Hades in the underworld has her as the deputy monarch. Although she is far from reaching her later achievements, she must be absolutely extraordinary. While the two of them were talking, they quickly arrived at Rivia Island. From the outside, this is a very ordinary island, with no buildings. But as soon as he stepped in, Apollo felt a sudden change in the surrounding environment, and he appeared in a dark palace. Asteria smiled lightly. Hecate has cast a spell here. She doesn't like being disturbed. If you hadn't come with me, what you would encounter now would be a fire of hell. Apollo turned his gaze forward. In the empty palace in front, there is a small stone owl sculpture, lifelike in the gloom. Suddenly, the surrounding space automatically lit candles one by one, illuminating the dark environment. Under the heavy candlelight, the turbid eyes of the owl stone sculpture became smart and made a crisp sound. Goddess Asteria, you are welcome. Lord Hecate is doing research. Please go to the side hall to rest with the young guest next to you. Apollo looked at the owl curiously, and Asteria pulled him and led him into the side hall. There was a long table with some high-backed chairs beside it. Sit first, Asteria pointed. Apollo sat down with her separately. At this moment, there was a thumping sound inside. Apollo stared at it, and several tall figures came to the room inside. Taking a closer look, it was a few puppet-like people, wearing aprons and holding saucers in their hands, walking towards this place stiffly. 2. Please have tea. Putting teacups full of tea in front of the two Apollos, several puppets made respectful voices. Apollo stared at them thoughtfully. Asteria blinked and said, These puppet servants made of puppet art are some of Hecate's achievements. Puppet art. Puppet art is a kind of magic that I study, and it is mainly related to the nature of the connection between the soul and the body. Suddenly a voice came from the darkness. Apollo stared at him, and a beautiful girl with black eyes and black hair in a long brown dress came out. She looked only 16 or 17 years old, with a graceful figure, a quiet temperament, and a very attractive and beautiful girl. But he has fluffy hair, his fair and delicate facial features are full of stains, and there are dirty things all over his body. Walking to Asteria, she rubbed her nose and asked, Mother, this is the son of Leto Ant. He looks good, and he has a lot of divine power. If it is used for research, it is a good material. Apollo was stunned for a moment. Asteria jumped up and slapped the girl on the head twice, what are you thinking about all day long? I sent little Apollo here because I hope you can take care of him for a while, instead of thinking about research. The girl rubbed her head and said dissatisfiedly, you hit me again, others don't know, you still don't know the effect of my magic, this is something that can change the pattern of the Protoss, and even goddess Nyx supports me in my research. Quote, hearing the word, magic, Apollo moved in his heart. In Greek mythology, Hecate, the goddess of chance, is known as the deputy king of the underworld, the queen of ghosts, and the goddess of roads and forks. She is also the queen of magic, the god of witches, and the god of magic. Over the years, he has also learned about the general situation of the gods with his mother. In Leto's description, the gods can only develop the divine power brought by their own blood, at most exercise the body, and practice combat skills such as archery and swordsmanship. Never heard of other abilities. But now that Hecate has developed magic, seeming to sense Apollo's curiosity, Hecate looked at him with big eyes and said, I have been thinking about a question since I was a child. Why do our gods have all kinds of powerful and extraordinary powers, but mortals don't have them? It is said that our power comes from blood, but why can blood give us divine power? 
Then I started to study how to display extraordinary power without using divine power, and thus developed, magic. This is a spell that does not require divine power and can display many special abilities. Speaking of which, a dazzling color appeared on her dirty face. The beauty of the moment, so that Apollo can not help but look sideways. Seeing Apollo's interest, Hecate was very happy and was about to continue, but Asteria hurriedly interrupted her. Little Apollo killed Pai Tong and wanted to hide from Hera for a while with you. You can talk later, but now find him a place to live. Pai Tong, that ugly big snake. Hecate was a little surprised. I've seen it before. Although it looks very annoying, its strength is still good. It was killed by Apollo. The girl's eyes were full of surprise. Little Apollo is very powerful. If you don't work hard, you will be surpassed by him. Asteria tapped. The girl pouted and said nothing. She was a god born at the end of the reign of the second generation god King Cronus, with a strong bloodline talent. In fact, she should have reached the realm of the main god. However, she is obsessed with magic research and often causes various problems with her body. As a result, most of the power is used to repair injuries, and the progress is slow. Now is the peak of the upper god. Okay, just chatting with him. During this time, I will pause my research and break through the realm of the main god. Hecate said it lightly. I don't know the realm of the main god at all. For most gods, it is a natural moat that cannot be entered in their entire lives. For her, it is a small goal that can be achieved as long as she wants to. Asteria's mouth twitched. She was actually the pinnacle of the upper god, but her bloodline strength was mediocre, and it was almost impossible to reach the level of the main god. Seeing that her daughter didn't take the realm of the lord god seriously at all, she felt both uncomfortable and proud. Hecate faced the void, and the surrounding walls suddenly opened, revealing an elegantly furnished room. Apollo, you can stay here. The room I made with transformation magic is still very comfortable. Apollo looked at the room in admiration, amazed at Hecate's abilities. The gods of Greece are not immortals from the east. When the realm is reached, they have all abilities. The gods often only have extraordinary abilities in their own priesthood, and they are not so omnipotent in other aspects. Apollo has many priesthoods such as light, medicine, and prophecy. If he is allowed to shine, heal, and predict the future, these are not problems. But let him put some lightning, or attract wind and rain, it will not do. Because that is the realm of other gods. Not to mention changing out of the room. Is there a priesthood of changing houses? For a moment, Apollo felt the limitations of the power of the gods. It seems that I can learn magic from Hecate and make myself a little more versatile. Apollo pondered. Suddenly he remembered another purpose of his coming here, and said to the two of Hecate, I'll go shopping on the island. Um, the two of Hecate replied to him. Their mother and daughter had not seen each other for a long time, and they were chatting happily. Following the signs of the system map, Apollo came to the west side of Rivia Island. In the coral below the beach, it looks like there is still a dive. Apollo shook his head, he also had no diving or marine priesthood. However, the physique of the gods is very strong and does not need to breathe. Walking in water is no different from walking on land. Jumping into the water, he searched for a while. Finally, he found the systematically marked coral next to a reef, and also found the treasure chest that appeared there. Advanced treasure chest, I don't know what can be opened. Apollo looked forward to opening the treasure chest. A voice suddenly flashed through my mind. Ding, you opened a high-level treasure chest and obtained Divine Origin Crystal 130, Divine Art Pure White Flame, two stars and all the great magisters of Alago Continent have been strengthened. Apollo was stunned. Needless to say, Divine Origin Crystal, basically every treasure chest has it. The pure white flame of the Divine Technique is actually marked as two stars. You must know that the vision of the sun is only one star in the system judgment, and you can easily kill Pai Tong of the Upper God Realm. The power of a two-star magic must be above that of sun vision. But what is this last, great magister enhancement of Alago Continent? Suddenly, he remembered that game, there was a dungeon world called, Alago Continent, and the main occupation of that world was magician, and the top magician could fight against gods with mortal gods. I just wanted to learn magic from Hecate, but now I have it. When Apollo's thoughts turned, a large series of complicated information suddenly poured into his mind, 
purification, metamorphosis, teleportation, alchemy, petrification, divination, necromancy. Thousands of spells flooded his mind. If an ordinary person were to receive so much information at once, he would definitely become an idiot. But fortunately, Apollo is the body of a god, but his head is a little sore. After a while, he came to his senses. Feeling the vast knowledge of magic in his mind, Apollo suddenly said solemnly, so the so-called magic is like this, I may understand the fundamental source of the power of the gods. At this moment, the sea around him suddenly rolled up a huge vortex, and the monstrous waves rolled in. Apollo's golden eyes burst into brilliant light, and he said coldly, Who are you? In the infinite sea water, a burly blue figure with a giant sword on his back slowly emerged. Looking at Apollo, he grinned and said, You are the son of Leto, and you actually hid here with Hecate. If you stay on the island, I really can't do anything about you, but it's a pity that you went into the sea yourself. The ocean is my world. I, the son of Oceanos, the ruler of the ocean, and the god of the vortex, Aceros, by the will of the gods, grant you eternal sleep. Aceros laughed loudly, his arms bluffed, and the majestic divine power urged, the surrounding endless sea water suddenly rolled into a monstrous vortex, shrouding the waters where Apollo was located. The whole ocean could not help but tremble during the whistling. Feel the swirling waves around you. Apollo looked calm, snapped his fingers lightly, and an invisible mask instantly appeared near his body. The surging waves rushed over and were blocked by the invisible mask. This is a protective magic in the enhancement of the great magister. The first time it was used, Apollo was very successful. He looked at the burly figure in the distance with satisfaction, and asked lightly, you are the son of the ruler of the ocean, why should you obey Hera's orders? Okeanos, the god of oceans and rivers, one of the twelve titans, the god of the ocean in the period of the second generation god King Cronus. In the ocean, although Poseidon is the emperor of the sea, the original sea god Pontos, the original sea god Pontus and the second generation ocean god Okeanos, the god of the ocean and rivers, have always affected the ocean. Even now, it is still a situation in which three generations of sea emperors divide the world. Poseidon didn't listen to Zeus' orders yet. As a churis of the oceanic god, he shouldn't listen to Hera's orders. For Apollo's question, Aceros just sneered, it's better to wait until you fall into eternal sleep, and then think about it slowly. Boom, the endless waves rolled up overwhelmingly, forming vortices one by one, and rumbled towards Apollo. Sun Vision Apollo's eyes burst out with golden rays of light, and the fiery heat flow penetrated and shot out, burning hot in the heavy waves. The golden light was as fast as electricity, and in the blink of an eye, it penetrated the layers of waves and fell on Acero's body. The latter's face became solemn, and he suddenly pulled out the giant sword on his body and slashed at the light. Bang, 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 the huge giant sword is like a surging wave rolling over the sea, the rays of light that are slashed and slashed, and bright sparks burst out in the air. No wonder Hera wants me to get rid of you, this magical technique is enough to deal with most of the upper gods, it's hard to imagine that you were only born ten years ago. But it is a pity that your opponent is me, standing on the sea, even if it is the main god, it is difficult to defeat me easily. Quote. Aceros roared, and the surging waves suddenly rolled up thousands of extremely fast vortexes, condensing on the giant sword. Boom, the whirlpool swirled, the waves were surging, the thick giant sword slashed in all directions, and the vast tide shrouded Apollo. Click, the mighty water crushed around the body, and the magical shield made a sound of shattering, obviously reaching its limit. Apollo was not surprised. After all, it is only magic that has just been learned, and the mainstream of this world is divine power. The son of the ruler of the ocean, although he has not yet reached the realm of the main god, he is also the top god among the upper gods. He has only just entered the realm of the upper gods, how can the shield issued by him be able to withstand the attack of the opponent's storm for a long time? Boom, another wave of rage struck, and the invisible mask shattered. I saw the endless sea water, swirling turbulent eddies one by one, violently rolling towards the middle. When the huge waves were crushing, Apollo spread his palms calmly. A pure white flame slowly rose from his palm. On the outside, this flame looks soft, not much temperature at all. The corners of Acero's mouth even evoked a sneer. Such a flame also wants to deal with himself, and it is really just a young god. 
He didn't realize that when the flames were burning, the space around Apollo became distorted and blurred. Boom, the sea was shaking, and thousands of whirlpools were rolling wildly. On Rivia Island, both Hecate and Asteria were shocked. When they arrived in a hurry, they saw the monstrous sea water shaking wildly, and a huge vortex shrouded a golden figure that was not tall. Apollo, Asteria roared in panic, her eyes flushed with anxiety. Hecate was much calmer than her, and pointed her finger at the waves ahead, and the majestic divine power surged. I knew you would show up. Aceros smiled coldly and waved the great sword in his hand. In front of Hecate, thousands of layers of thick water curtains suddenly rolled up. It will take at least ten breaths to break through these water curtains with my divine power. If it were on land, I could easily defeat him. Hecate was very angry. In terms of divine power, she is not much different from Aceros. But Aceros is a sea god, standing in the sea, naturally has advantages, even the main god is difficult to defeat him in a short time. This is actually nothing, the duel of the gods, the geographical factors actually have little effect. It's not very difficult to change the terrain as long as it takes some effort, but now she has no time. Haha, ha, just watch him die in the waves. Seeing the angry and anxious expressions of the two Hecates, Aceros laughed proudly. At this moment, he suddenly discovered strangely that the anxiety on the faces of the two Hecate disappeared. Instead, it was a touch of shock. Aceros was surprised and turned his head to look. I saw a series of pure white flames spread out on the vast sea. The sea water made a boiling sound, and each vortex quickly evaporated in the air, and the fiery heat wave rolled towards him like a gust of wind. How is it possible that there is a fire that can ignite the sea in this world? Aceros looked at the scene in disbelief, and clenched his teeth and waved the great sword in his hand. Waves of waves, vortexes, condensed and appeared under his divine power, roaring towards the fire. But as soon as it came into contact with the pure white flame, the countless waves of water evaporated in an instant. The seawater in the middle keeps evaporating, and the surrounding seawater doesn't even have time to flow. In just ten breaths, a huge seawater void appeared in this sea area. Aceros looked at this scene absently, his body trembling. Even Hecate and Asteria opened their mouths and stared at the pure white flames spreading over the sea. And in the monstrous fire, that golden figure. Chapter 11. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There will be fires in this world that can light the sea. Aceros roared tremblingly, his blue eyes fixed on the golden figure in the firelight. Whether you believe it or not, this pure white flame will not only ignite this sea, but also ignite everything in your life. In the condensed firelight, Apollo was flying golden, and the fingertips outlined the pure white color. Aceros raised his great sword and slashed forward with all his might. Bang! The flame spread, and the huge divine sword showed signs of melting as soon as it touched the pure white color. Asteria was surprised and said, This sword is made of deep sea ice gold. Even Hephaeth's divine furnace will take several days to smelt it. What kind of flame is this? As she spoke, the beating pure white flame had already melted half of Acero's great sword. The son of the ruler of the ocean, dropped his sword in panic, looked at a gap, and ran out. You can't go, Apollo shouted coldly, his figure turned into a ray of light and chased after him. The pure white fireworks danced brilliantly in midair, like a sharp arrow, closely following Acero's. Feeling the terrifying temperature behind him that distorted the space, Aceros looked horrified and hurriedly dived into the deep sea. But the pure white flames were chasing after him, and the surrounding sea water quickly evaporated, revealing a hollow, still chasing. Father, save me! In desperation, Aceros shouted hoarsely towards the depths of the sea. Apollo's face froze. I don't know when the sky in the distance rolled out a huge torrent that surrounded the world, and the crystal water waves beat the sky, wrapping around the end of the world like a belt. And in the depths of this huge water wave, there stood an old man's shadow. When this figure appeared, the entire ocean was silent. Whether it is waves or waves, storms or showers, all quiet down, as if a courtier met the most honorable king. King of the sea, ocean dominates. On Rivia Island, Asteria looked at the old figure with a solemn expression. This is her father's brother, one of the twelve titans who overthrew the first god-king, a great god who ruled the boundless ocean for an era. Of course Apollo knew his identity, but the flame in his hand didn't stop, burning towards Achurus in front of him. 
Aceros couldn't dodge, the pure white flame burned on him in an instant, and spread all over his body in the blink of an eye. The scorching high temperature burned him into a bloody mess, and let out a painful wailing. The face of the old figure in the sky changed, and he hurriedly opened his arms, and the endless water waves formed a giant hand to fish out Aceros in the deep sea. But this giant hand composed of water waves evaporated as soon as it touched the pure white flame on Aceros. What kind of fire is this? The old figure looked shocked, no longer standing high in the sky, the figure turned into an endless stream of water, flowing into the deep sea. At the same time, the mighty river, like a belt wrapped around the world, gradually shrank, wrapping around Asherios like a belt. At this time, the pure white flame on his body gradually went out. But at this time, Aceros could no longer see the human form, his flesh and blood were burnt to ashes, his whole body was charred like carbon, and only the skeleton was still intact. Looking at his son's miserable appearance, the old figure couldn't help but be full of anger, and looked coldly at Apollo on the sea above. Young god, your flame is very powerful. Even a god like me standing at the level of the main god can't extinguish it without using the power of the ocean and river. He said in a soothing tone. Apollo smiled lightly. If it's not great, it might be me lying down now, and my father may not come out to save me. The old face of Okeanos moved slightly. Who is your father? Apollo looked at the sky above, indifferent. Okeanos' expression changed. You are the son of Zeus, who is your mother? He is the child of my sister and Zeus. Asteria rushed over with Hecate. The meteor goddess stared at the ocean ruler with angry eyes. Oceano's uncle, I need an explanation from the ocean gods, why Aceros was instructed by Hera to deal with Apollo. Okeanos fell silent. He did not expect his son to be involved in the housework of the god king of Olympus. After thinking for a while, he hesitated and said, Aceros has already been punished. Let this pass, and I will discipline him. Asteria couldn't help sneering. Okeanos' uncle, is this what you want to explain to me? Then what else do you want to explain? Lifting up his immature son, a powerful coercion surged out of Okeanos, covering the three of Apollo. In an instant, Apollo felt a majestic and vast weight like the sea, crushing on his back. He clenched his palms tightly, supported his body with divine power, and straightened his back. On the other side, Asteria and Hecate were also under enormous pressure, their bodies were a little hunched, and their cheeks were full of sweat. Seeing them, Okeanos sneered. As one of the twelve titans, once the lord of the ocean, his strength is among the top group even among the main gods. The mere three junior gods, who are not even the main gods, dare to question themselves. At this moment, Hecate, who was struggling to support, suddenly filled with a vast and mysterious power. Eternal darkness covered the vast sky for a moment. Death-like silence, like a slumbering serenade, played in the void. Okeanos cried out in horror, Master of the night. Eternal silence like death fills the vast ocean. The vast sky seemed to be covered by a black dress, and the sun, moon, and stars had all disappeared. Okeanos looked at the endless darkness in horror, with a deadly hesitant expression. The main god rank is already standing at the top of the gods. Even in the face of Olympus, the king of the gods, although he was three-pointed in fear, he still had the courage to fight. But even in the glorious era when the titans ruled the world, he never dared to offend this great being that symbolized eternal sleep. Nyx, the goddess of the night, one of the five primordial gods. It is the oldest, most powerful, and most unpredictable existence among the gods. Even his mother, the grandmother of the gods, Gaia, the lord of the earth, needs to be afraid of three points. Since the end of the ancient age of ignorance, after three god kings ruled the world. Of the five oldest primordial gods, except for the mother Gaia, three have never appeared again. Only this goddess of the night, the master of the night, still has occasional activities. But why did he just teach a few junior gods and cause her power to appear? In a short moment, Okeanos thought a lot in his mind. Endless darkness swallowed into his body. The silence like eternal sleep seems to have passed thousands of years in a moment. When the darkness faded, the three of Apollo just felt stunned. However, he saw the god of ocean and rivers, who was originally incomparable, kneeling tremblingly on the sea, his eyes were full of fear, and the whole person became much older in an instant. Hecate realized something and stepped forward and said, 
this is just a bit of divine power left by goddess Nyx on me, but if the ocean dominates and you still bully us younger gods, then I have to go to the underworld and ask goddess Nyx to preside over me. Fair enough. Asteria also said. Okeano's uncle, although my father god only has two daughters, my sister and me, which is not as huge as the six thousand gods of the oceanic gods, but if you want to suppress us with your identity, then I had no choice but to ask the father, god and mother to come forward. Okeano stared at the two of them, his face filled with solemnity. Nyx, the goddess of the night, will not talk about it. Asteria's father and mother are his brothers, one of the twelve titans in the past, and their strength is not inferior to him. At the same time, Asteria's husband is also the son of one of the twelve titans, the weather god Cleos, although he and Cleos are both imprisoned in Tartarus. But he also has two brothers, Paris, the god of war tactics, and Asterius, the lord of the stars. The former is a famous wise man among the ancient titans, who is also known as his daughter Métis and the prophet Prometheus. The latter is the father of the star gods and the wind gods, the ruler who rules the starry sky, and is at the top of the main god. If you really provoke so many powerful gods to come forward, your oceanic gods will not be able to bear it. Feeling Okeano's hesitation, Apollo was also a little stunned. He never thought that there were so many powerful gods in his mother's family. In fact, this is just that the Greek gods are basically one family, and if you find any god to pull the relationship network, you can pull out a large number of powerful gods. It's just that the gods often have many descendants. If they are not particularly close, they will not care about the younger generation. Just like Okeanos, when his daughter Métis was swallowed by Zeus, he didn't show up at all. Because he has the most children among the gods, with 3,000 sons and 3,000 daughters. Métis is only one of the 3,000 daughters, and naturally it is not worth his confrontation with the king of the gods. But Apollo's mother, Leto, had only two daughters, Leto and Asteria, the father of the god Kuz, the god of the heavens, and the mother of the goddess of light, Phoebe. If it hadn't been retired for many years, Hera might not have had the courage to persecute Leto. The anger of the two titans is something that not everyone can bear. It turns out that my backstage is also very hard. Apollo smiled in his heart. His eyes turned to Hecate. I have long heard that she is very close to the goddess of the night, Nyx, but I didn't expect that she was so close to the goddess Nyx that she specially left a divine power on her. He seemed to sense the surprise in Apollo's eyes. Hecate wiped the stain on his face and winked at him with a proud expression. At this time, Asteria asked again, Okeano's uncle, if you don't explain what Asheros did to Apollo, we will never stop with the oceanic gods. You, I said that Aceros has been punished, and nothing happened to your sister's son. This matter is over. Okeanos was full of anger. He thought that he had already given face to these younger gods. If it wasn't for the dark and terrifying picture just now, still in his heart, he would definitely take action directly and teach these juniors with strength. Apollo was not hurt, this is because of his strength. But Aceros, a powerful god who has been famous for a long time, attacked a god who was just born ten years ago. Does the oceanic god think we are easy to bully? Asteria's face was full of chills. She was angry, angry at what happened to her sister, and angry at the persecution of Apollo. Apollo couldn't help but be moved by the way Asteria didn't give in. All along, this ant has been a great help to his family. I'm your elder, the ruler of one of the gods. Seeing Asteria's attitude, Okeanos was annoyed. At this moment, a graceful and gorgeous figure suddenly appeared in the depths of the sea. Father, it's true that the big brother did something wrong, so let me apologize to Sister Asteria. Apollo and several people turned their attention to the waves at the same time. In the azure sea, the streamer turned, and the noble woman with pale blue long hair fluttered, and her delicate face was as white as jade, walking out with gentle steps. The slender and gorgeous blue robes are hard to hide the exquisite curves, and the olive-colored eyes are brighter than the stars. Goddess Amphitrite. Asteria gave her a soft salute. Okeanos also eased his anger and nodded to the woman. The woman is the daughter of Okeanos, the wife of Poseidon, and now the queen of the sea, the goddess Amphitrite. Apollo also knew this goddess. Although the presence is very low, this goddess is by no means a simple character. In the way of life, the Emperor Poseidon and his brother Zeus have always been half a caddy, 
but the gods all know Hera's reputation for being jealous and like to persecute the goddess. But no one has ever spread any rumors about this sea queen. No matter how Poseidon is outside, no one can shake her status. Sir Father, Sister Asteria, we are all descendants of Mother Earth, we can sit down and reconcile things slowly, there is no need to make such an unpleasant mess. Amphitrite smiled and walked between Asteria and Okeanos and separated them. Okeanos sneered. I just said I wanted to apologize to her on my behalf, have you seen your big brother? Amphitrite sighed. Father, this is the big brother's fault. He has been very indulgent over the years, and now he is still involved in the Olympus dispute. It's good to learn a little lesson. As she said that, she turned her eyes to Apollo, and said with a light smile, this is the child of the god king and the goddess Leto, it looks so good looking. As he said, he took out a bright bead from his arms, this is a birthday present from his majesty the sea emperor. I think it suits you very well, Apollo. Seeing this pearl, the expressions of Okeanos and Asteria could not help changing. Okeanos shouted. I asked you to give it to your big brother to help him break through the main god, but you didn't agree. Now you actually give it to an outsider. This is too precious, please ask the goddess to take it back. Asteria also said. Amphitrite grabbed Apollo's hand indifferently, and shoved the beads with a faint smile. What is precious or not, give it to children to play with. Then he turned his head to look at Okeanos. Father, you should take your big brother back for treatment. Fortunately, he didn't become the main god, otherwise the disaster would be even greater. HMPH, the married daughter really isn't her own family anymore. Okeanos stomped his feet angrily, hugging Asheros who was still in a coma and turned into a wave away. As soon as he touched the pearl, Apollo felt a gentle force that slowly poured into his body, and the divine power in his body seemed to be activated and grew autonomously. This is the heart of the deep sea. It has the effect of enhancing divine power and improving bloodlines. It is especially effective for the gods of the ocean. It is a very precious treasure, Hecate said to him. When the two were talking, Amphitrite turned around apologetically. Sister Asteria, I'm really sorry, my father has always been so savage and stubborn, I apologize to you for everything he and Big Brother did. The dignified sea queen lowered her posture like this, and Asteria was a little overwhelmed. Amphitrite aunt, thank you for the pearl you gave me. Apollo walked to the front and said softly. Amphitrite lowered her body full of love and exclaimed, Fate really favors his majesty the king of God, first Athena, and now Apollo, you are all such excellent gods. She pursed her lips and sighed, As you should have seen, my father is stubborn and arrogant, and he doesn't know anything except giving birth to children. I have three thousand brothers and three thousand sisters, most of whom are sent to marry and cling to each other. For them, we are tools. Quote, the corners of Apollo's three mouths could not help but twitch. It is said that Zeus and Poseidon are famous stallions among the gods. But compared to Okeanos, the master of the ocean, these two are nothing at all. Half of the six thousand sons and daughters of the entire Protoss are descendants of ocean lords. It is a pity that these gods are basically mediocre, only Amphitrite and Métis are outstanding, and they are all married. But why would Amphitrite say this? But I saw Amphitrite crouched down very kindly and looked at Apollo and said. I've also heard about what happened to goddess Leto. His majesty the god king is so ruthless. You children are so pitiful, you haven't seen your father yet, have you? She sighed, her eyes a little dark. My poor sister Maiti had such a tragic experience back then, but it's a pity that I couldn't help my sister like you, Asteria. Fortunately, Athena went through hardships and finally got a place in Olympus. I am proud of her. Having said that, she said to Apollo. You haven't seen Athena yet. She is my sister's daughter and your sister. Speaking of which, you still look alike, with such dazzling blonde hair. Twenty years from now, it will be the coming of age ceremony of my child Triton. I have invited Athena over, and Apollo, you and Hecate can also come to attend. She looked at Asteria solemnly. The latter pondered for a while, nodded and said, I will let Apollo and Hecate go. If that's the case, then I look forward to seeing you again. Amphitrite smiled and disappeared into the sea. When she left, Asteria frowned. Hecate suddenly raised her head and said, Mother, do you think goddess Amphitrite's attitude is strange? I heard something a while ago, which may have something to do with it. 
Hecate is somewhat mysterious. She didn't stick out her tongue until Asteria glared at her. Goddess Amphitrite just mentioned her child, Prince Triton, mother, you should have seen him a few times. Asteria said, he is a handsome, polite and polite young god. It is difficult for me to imagine that he is the son of the emperor of the sea. They have no similarity at all. But speaking of it, it's normal for children not to be like their parents. Little Apollo and little Artemis only inherited the beauty of their sister, not the savage appearance of Zeus. She couldn't help pinching Apollo's handsome face again. Hecate continued with a chuckle. Although the sea emperor has many children outside, Prince Triton is the only heir. But recently the sea emperor has another son, and his mother's status is very extraordinary, so in fae the goddess Trita may have been flustered by this. Which goddess is that? Asteria asked curiously. Compared with his brother Zeus, the sea emperor Poseidon is more famous for not paying attention to taste, so most of the relationships are ordinary goddesses or mortals. And Zeus's taste is much higher, and lovers are gods of extraordinary status. Of course Apollo knew that this was also temporary. With the passage of time, the excellent goddesses were all picked, and Zeus gradually turned his attention to mortals, even the same. But in this time period, Zeus is still taking the high-end route, while Poseidon is on the low end and rarely gets the hearts of the goddess of higher status. It's a goddess who will startle you when you say it. Hecate couldn't help but looked around, as if a little scared. Apollo recalled Greek mythology, his face condensed, and he pointed to the big tunnel on the edge of the ocean, could it be that one? Wow, you can guess that. Hecate looked at him in surprise. Asteria also reacted and said in surprise, it's actually Mother Earth, and she gave birth to a child, this. She couldn't believe it. The fact is that goddess Gaia gave birth to a child for the sea emperor not long ago, called Antaeus, so the sea emperor has not been in the ocean during this time. After the shock, Asteria quickly calmed down and accepted the news. Gaia, the mother of the earth, one of the five primordial gods, the grandmother of the gods. Most of the gods today are her descendants. If it is counted from the first god King Uranus, the sea emperor Poseidon is her grandson. But in fact, the first generation god King Uranus was also conceived from the earth, and could be regarded as the eldest son of the mother of the earth. That sea emperor Poseidon is actually her great-grandson. Such two gods actually gave birth to a child together. Even in today's gods who are chaotic, it is a big news. Apollo is not surprised. Later, Zeus and his sixth-generation granddaughter became the greatest Greek hero. He pondered for a while and said, so goddess Amphitrite is worried that the status of Prince Triton will be affected, so she is now looking for gods who can support her. You are half right, Hecate blinked, whether the child of the sea emperor and the earth mother is a threat to Prince Triton or is it secondary, the earth mother will choose to give birth to this child for the sea emperor, what is behind this behavior? The meaning is more worth exploring. Apollo's voice was low. What do you mean, Mother Earth wants to intervene in the situation of the ocean? Hecate's eyes lit up. You're so smart. Asteria looked at them strangely, feeling that she couldn't understand what was going on. Hecate said solemnly. The ocean has three generations of masters, the original sea god Pontos, the ocean master Okeanos, and the sea emperor Poseidon. For a long time, each has the ambition to annex each other, but they all check and balance each other. But now Mother Earth chooses to give birth to an heir for the sea emperor, she is undoubtedly going to intervene, which will break the balance. Apollo's face was full of seriousness. Asteria interrupted him. Why do you think about this at a young age, let me see that I wasn't injured by a Asherios. Asteria aunt, don't worry, I'm fine. Apollo touched the pearl in his hand, and suddenly realized that his clothes were a little wet. He cast a dehumidification magic on himself to drive away all the moisture. Seeing his actions, Hecate was surprised and said, Apollo, are you also magic? Dot dot dot, oceanic gods. Okeanos sat on his throne with a gloomy face. Aceros, who had just received treatment, stood below with a pale face. The atmosphere was somewhat deadly. After a long time, Okeanos finally said, Why do you want to do things for Hera? Didn't I say not to participate in the internal affairs of Olympus? Father, I do all this for the sake of the ocean gods. Aceros said in a low voice. For a long time, among the three major forces of the ocean, Pontos has the strongest strength and power, 
and although Poseidon has a weak foundation, he has the clergy of the emperor of the sea and has restraint on all the gods in the sea. Limpus support. Only our ocean god system has neither strength nor the support of other gods behind it, and the situation is the most dangerous. Okeanos frowned and said, you are talking nonsense. You have so many sisters married to various gods. Why do we have no supporters? Aceros sneered, a married daughter is an outsider. You can see if Amphitrite's attitude towards us now will tell them if they still remember you, the godfather. Okeanos was silent for a moment, then said, then you can't hook up with Hera. She is the goddess of Olympus. This position should belong to your sister, but Zeus killed her. So what, as long as it can make the oceanic gods more secure, what does it have to do with who to cooperate with? Aceros said loudly. His eyes were full of sternness. Zeus is also afraid that Poseidon's power in the ocean will expand and threaten his throne. So as long as there is Hera's help, Poseidon will lose the support of Olympus, and at the same time we will gain support, this is very promising. But you haven't even won a junior who was born ten years old. Okeanos sneered. The veins on Acero's face suddenly burst, this is my carelessness. I didn't expect him to be able to produce such a terrifying flame, but the next time will be his death. Do you still want to do it again? Okeanos frowned. Since it has already been shot once, naturally it can't stop like this. Aceros drank high, his eyes full of cold killing intent. Rivia Island. In the early morning, Apollo looked in the mirror, looked at himself, who looked like a 14 or 15 year old boy, tidied up his clothes, and came to the south of the island early. Under the golden morning light, vigorous grasses grow tall and strong on the soil. Looking at them, Apollo snapped his fingers. Suddenly, a light rain fell in the sky. The fine raindrops fell on the ground, moisturizing the grass on the soil, and the grass grew a lot taller at once. Immediately, buds grew, and bright flowers bloomed quickly. Wow, Apollo, our experiment was successful. Hecate cried happily from behind. Apollo smiled lightly and said, the reason why gods are born with extraordinary power is because our bloodline has the ability to conform to some of the natural laws of the world. But most gods only know how to use this natural power arrogantly, but have not thought about it, principle. Well, that's why we created magic. You don't need the power of blood, as long as you have a deep understanding of the law, you can display the power of magic. Hecate said proudly. Since Apollo showed his superb magical attainments, she began to haunt Apollo, and the two studied magic together. After more than ten years of hard work, they have studied the essence and mystery of magic and divine power. The grass and flowers in front of them looked ordinary, but they were actually created by magic. The blooming of the flowers now marks the realm of their magic, which has reached the point of being able to create life. I will be the goddess of magic in the future, and Apollo, you will be the god of magic. Hecate looked at Apollo seriously. In the past ten years of getting along, she completely felt Apollo's profound understanding of magic, and she thought that she was inferior to Apollo. Now that she has said that they want to call the two together, she can't help but blush. Apollo smiled. In fact, he admired Hecate even more. He was able to create a magic system out of nothing. Such a talent is amazing. It seems that he has been helping Hecate perfect his magic over the years, but it is actually Hecate who is helping him adapt to the magic system of this world. The magical inheritance of the Alago continent opened from the treasure chest is exquisite, but the situation in different worlds is different, and the two are actually not connected in many places. Fortunately, after years of research, he completed the transformation of the magic of the Alago continent and adapted to this world. Taking a look at Hecate, he said, are you promoted to Lord God? Hum, Hecate nodded proudly. On the other hand, he pretended not to care, it's just a matter of reaching the third rank of the Lord God. If the Ocean Lord dares to bully us again, I can fight him. She was still very proud. Although she couldn't compare to Apollo in terms of magical attainments, the breakthrough in the realm of divine power made her feel that she was still stronger than Apollo. You must know that most of the current main gods are first and second order existences of the main gods, such as the goddess Hera, the beauty god Aphrodite, the sea queen Amphitrite, and so on. And she reached the third rank of the main god as soon as she broke through, which is obviously not her limit. It won't be long before she becomes the top existence among the main gods. Because the power of her bloodline is really very powerful, 
she has not become the main god in these years, and she has always hurt herself by studying magic, and her body has always been very weak. Well, you are really amazing. Apollo praised. He knew in his heart that this was the oppression he was subjected to at the beginning when he faced Okeanos last time, which touched Hecate's pride. That's why she has worked so hard to improve herself over the years. Why is he not? Among the gods, after all, it is necessary to rely on strength to speak. I have been staying on Rivia Island for all these years, and I haven't had the opportunity to go out and open many treasure chests. The strength improvement is a bit slow, and it is only able to reach the peak of the upper god, and it is still a line from the main god. Apollo was a little dissatisfied. The peak of the upper gods is actually very powerful, but if you don't reach the realm of the main gods in one day, you can't be called the powerhouse among the gods. However, it's very close to Triton's coming-of-age ceremony that Amphitrite said. When the time comes to go to the Sea Emperor's Shrine and get that high-level treasure chest, there may be an opportunity to be promoted to the Lord God. Apollo thought. At this time, Hecate looked outside and muttered. Mother went out to play with people again, or else I must show her what I look like after I was promoted to the main god. She is still a high god, and she will definitely envy her to death. Apollo was speechless, looking at the golden morning light. She was pretty and tall, with a graceful and elegant light blue dress, and a tall and straight girl exuding an elegant temperament. I don't know why, but Hecate became more and more like to show off, and she also paid attention to dressing up. Although it looks very eye-catching, it feels a little weird compared to the dirty look when we first met. Seemingly feeling his gaze, the girl's cheeks were slightly flushed in the golden dawn, and she said, By the way, Sister Astria is coming to be a guest today, are you ready to receive her? Apollo nodded. It's all ready. Astrea, the goddess of the stars, was the eldest daughter of Astraos, the lord of the stars, the elder brother of Hecate's father. In Greek mythology known to Apollo. She is the goddess of the stars and justice, a pure and kind goddess rare among the gods. Apollo was also curious about her. When the two were talking, a gorgeous rainbow suddenly appeared in the sky. The beautiful rainbow shimmers in various colors, like an orbit connecting the sky and the earth, bringing an exquisite chariot inlaid with stars. The stars twinkled in the sky, and the chariot drove at high speed in the vast sky and stopped over the island of Rivia. A demure girl with gorgeous purple hair and a body bathed in starlight emerged from it. Apollo stared at the stars. Surrounded by stars, the purple-haired girl had a sweet smile on her cheeks, and her fair skin was creamy and creamy, which was dazzling against the starlight. A bright robe exudes the dazzling brilliance of stars, tightly wrapped around her concave and convex figure, and with that beautiful face, she outlines a graceful figure that is captivating. Sister Astrea, you're finally here. Hecate happily walked up and hugged the purple-haired girl. The latter looked at her up and down for a while, and smiled demurely, I didn't expect you to be promoted to Lord God so quickly. Seeing the improvement in strength, Hecate raised his head proudly, of course, I am a genius goddess. The beautiful and elegant star goddess Astrea, set her eyes on Apollo and asked, Hecate, this is Apollo, the child of the goddess Leto and the king of gods, right? Before Hecate could answer, Apollo stepped forward and responded, Beautiful goddess Astrea, I am Apollo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Astrea smiled and said, What a handsome and elegant male god, I can already imagine how many goddesses will be crazy for you in the future, Apollo. Sister Astrea, let's go first. Hecate seemed a little unhappy. Astrea suddenly noticed the flowers blooming on the ground, with a strange expression on her face, What are these, I haven't seen anything like this even in Flora. Flora, the flower god of Olympus. Seeing her strange, Hecate explained, this is a brand new flower cultivated by magic. Magic, is that the kind of magic you study that can use all kinds of magical powers without using divine power. Astrea was surprised, have you been able to use it to create life? Feeling Astrea's admiring gaze, Hecate felt a little embarrassed, actually, most of this is due to Apollo, who made more contributions than me. Apollo, you also participated in the development of magic. Astrea looked at Apollo in surprise. The latter smiled lightly. It's not as exaggerated as Hecate said, I and she both contributed half of it. The surprise in Astrea's eyes did not fade away. She knows that, magic, a spell that does not require divine power, 
can exert all kinds of extraordinary powers in all aspects, and it is something that can cause much change. Hecate was smart from an early age, and was even favored by the goddess Nyx. How long before Apollo was born, does her magical attainments match or even surpass her? She couldn't help but have endless curiosity about this beautiful and extraordinary son of the king of gods. Hecate took her to the palace where she lived. The picture that came into view shocked Astria. Looking at the ordinary palace from the outside, when she walked in, there were dazzling stars all over the sky. The dazzling starlight made her feel like she was at home in the starry sky. Hecate scratched his head and said, This is the projection magic developed by Apollo. He likes to call it holographic projection and can switch various backgrounds freely. Today, thinking of Sister Astria coming, he specially made it into a sea of stars. In fact, there are many others. As she said that, with a wave of her arm, the radiance of the surrounding stars disappeared, replaced by a white snow scene, and countless crystal snowflakes fell from the sky. Astria's beautiful face couldn't help being shocked, she peeked at Apollo, and Ying Ying said, thank you for your trouble. Apollo smiled and said, the real hospitality is still inside. At this time, Astria saw two rows of figures walking out, both wearing beautiful dresses, holding food and wine with a smile, and bowing to herself from a distance. Respected goddess Astrea, please come and dine here. Hecate, when did you have so many beautiful nymphs here? Hecate covered her mouth with a smile and said, Sister Astria, these are not nymphs, they are all puppets made by Apollo's magic, but they are very realistic. Astrea glanced at Apollo in surprise again, and sighed sincerely, your magic really amazes me. The latter walked gracefully to the table and waved, Goddess Astrea, please have a meal. The three sat down. Astrea stared at Apollo, and suddenly said, Apollo, you should have reached the peak of the upper god, what an excellent talent. If you don't reach the main god, you are not considered powerful among the gods. Apollo responded lightly. With your talent, it's only a matter of time before you become the Lord God, Astrea's eyes brightened. She changed her words, have you thought about when to go back to Olympus? Apollo's face sank, and he looked at the distant sky and said, when my sister and I grow up, he has to invite us back. You are the son of his majesty the king of God after all. There is no need to make the relationship like this. I think I can ask Godfather to intervene and reconcile this matter so that you can return to Olympus as soon as possible. Astrea sighed. Thank you for your kindness, but I don't think I need it for the time being. At least that goddess will never welcome me. Apollo said coldly. Hecate couldn't help but say. Sister Astrea, you may not know, just when Apollo first came here, the goddess asked Aceros to murder him. Fortunately, Apollo was powerful. Defeated Aceros. How old was he when he defeated Aceros? Astrea was surprised. At the same time, he let out a long sigh of relief. Since this is the case, let everything take its course. As she said that, she changed the subject. This time I came to the ocean, in addition to coming to Hecate as a guest, on the other hand, the goddess Amphitrite invited me to attend the coming of age ceremony of Prince Triton. Olympus. Hera frowned with anger. In front of her was the burly Asherios. I thought the son of the dignified ocean ruler was very capable. He was half killed by a god who was just born for more than ten years, and even asked his father to rescue him. It's really amazing. Full of sarcasm, he slapped Acero's wound like a whip. Hera, don't go too far. I will suffer such humiliation because of you. The latter couldn't help but growl. Hera sneered. Is it because of your incompetence? Acero's forehead burst with blue veins, forcing himself to suppress his anger, and said coldly, if you think that ridiculing me can solve the problem, then you can continue to laugh with your sharp and mean tongue. Hera raised her eyes, the chill on her body subsided a lot, she sat on it and said, tell me your next plan. Aceros said, I summed up the reason for the failure of the operation, because the information you gave is too inaccurate. Apollo's strength has already reached the upper god, and he can stretch a very terrifying flame magic. After a pause, so to solve him, I need more help. He faith twos as your son. As the god of fire, it shouldn't be a problem to create an artifact that can restrain the magic of fire, right? Hera thought for a moment and nodded slightly. Very good, I have obtained the consent of the father god, and can mobilize some gods of the oceanic gods to participate in the action together. But to be on the safe side, 
I still need you to send a powerful god to help me. Full of brilliance. Hera frowned. The reason why I let you shoot is that the ocean is Poseidon's territory. If the gods of Olympus go there, there will be a lot of trouble. Aceros smiled coldly. It's always like this, but recently my sister is going to hold a coming-of-age ceremony for her child, and she has invited a lot of gods from outside to enter. As far as I know, Apollo is also among them. As long as the people you sent are mixed in with the party that went to the banquet, no one will doubt it. When the banquet is over, when Apollo returns, he will follow closely behind, and I will be in ambush in front of me, attacking from both sides, and I can do it in one fell swoop. Kill him. After listening to his plan, Hera thought about it for a while, then gritted her teeth and nodded, Okay, just follow your plan, but if it fails this time, you don't need to see me again. Don't worry, this time is the death of Leto's son. Acero's eyes were full of sternness. Dot dot dot. When he left, Hera called a few nymphs. First take out a letter and give it to the first nymph, send this letter to Hephaethtos. Follow your will. Nymph took the envelope and went outside. Hera said to the other nymph, go to Ares and call the sky to see me. This nymph was a little surprised. Ares, the god of war, although the child of the queen, is rude and arrogant, and has always been disliked by Hera. Ares is equally disrespectful to the mother. The two have not communicated much all the year round, why did the god queen take the initiative to see him today? Nymph didn't dare to think too much, and came to Ares' residence according to the order. Ares was stunned for a moment, then sneered, what kind of wind blows her, she actually thinks of me. Although he sneered, he quickly got up and came to Hera. Known as the god of war, Ares is naturally tall and tall, with a burly body and a beard on his face. But seeing this son, Hera's eyes were full of disgust. She hated this rude and ugly look. When she gave birth to her first son, he faith twos, she threw him from the sky and broke his leg because she thought he was too ugly. Ares is much more handsome than he faith, but he is also ugly and savage. Why are Leto, Métis and their children so beautiful and elegant, I only have these two barbarian sons. Hera was jealous, but with a kind look on her face, she looked at Ares with a smile. The latter was lazy, leaning on his sword and said, Mother, if you have something to say, I will go hunting when I go back. Hera's huge voice made Hera clench her palms tightly, and said, Do you know Leto's two children? Oh, you mean them, anyway, what's the point of not giving us some younger brothers and sisters anyway? Ares didn't care. Madness. Hera couldn't help cursing. Ares looked cold, and immediately contradicted. Mother, if scolding me is the purpose of calling me here, then I will leave now. Hera's eyes froze. If you say you are stupid, you still don't accept it. Do you know how good Leto's two children are? Their visions at birth are not worse than Athena's. Hearing the name, Athena, Ares's expression changed. He gritted his teeth and said, Don't mention this woman, one day, I will defeat her and make her succumb to me. He is the god of war, but Athena, the goddess of wisdom, also has a priesthood of war. Since its birth, the followers of Athena have always been the second among the gods and the god King Zeus. Over time, when mortals worshipped the god of war, they believed that Athena was the real god of war, symbolizing the victory of the war. And he, Ares, symbolizes the cruelty and tyranny of the war itself. So they all sacrificed to Athena, and they were unwilling to sacrifice him. Of course Ares refused to accept it, so he asked Athena to duel to prove who was the real god of war. Then he lost, completely lost in front of the gods. This shame was a pain in his heart forever, and when he heard Athena's name, he couldn't help but get angry. Looking at him, the disgust in Hera's eyes grew even stronger. She restrained and continued, If you don't get rid of Leto's son now, he will ride on your head like Athena in the future. Our mother and son are in Olympus, and we will never be able to raise our heads. Ares reacted, Are you trying to kill him? No, this will anger the father. He immediately shook his head. Although he is arrogant and disrespectful to his mother Hera, his father Zeus is his most awe-inspiring existence. He did not have the guts to offend Zeus. Since I asked you to take action, I naturally arranged everything. Your father God will never know about this. Hera said so, Ares still shook her head. Just as he was about to get up and leave, Hera finally threw out the trump card, as long as you get rid of Leto's son, I will marry Aphrodite to you. 
Mother, you are serious. Ares looked at Hera excitedly. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, the embodiment of love and beauty, the most feminine goddess of the gods. No matter which male god, all coveted her beauty behind her back. Even his father, the greatest king of the gods. It's just that because Hera is too tight, Zeus has never had a chance to start. But because of this, no male god dared to force Aphrodite to marry him. Ares is also one of Aphrodite's many suitors, long obsessed with the most beautiful of the gods. But they didn't catch up. Seeing his anxious look, Hera said lightly, Of course I won't lie to you, as long as Apollo dies, I will give you Aphrodite. Seeing Hera's promise, Ares didn't care about angering his father, and nodded immediately. Okay, I will definitely take off the head of Leto's son. Mother, wait for your promise. Ares laughed and walked outside. Looking at the back of him leaving, Hera's eyes became even more disgusted. Taking out the crystal, she said coldly to herself, Apollo, why are you not my child? I can only blame you for being too good, and now I can only make you never get on the Olympus. Quote, dot dot dot, it turns out that you also received an invitation from the goddess Amphitrite, so that we can go together. Astraea was very surprised. When the day came, she left Rivia with Apollo and Hecate and flew over the sea. Apollo was puzzled at the upcoming coming-of-age ceremony for Prince Triton. There seemed to be a lot of gods that Amphitrite had specially invited. But this has nothing to do with me, I am just a high-ranking god, and I go to the Sea Emperor Shrine just for the treasure chest. Advanced treasure chest, I don't know what good things can be opened. Apollo was full of expectations. As Poseidon's palace, Neptune Shrine is located deep in the sea. Through the layers of seawater, the three Apollos reached the deep sea. A luxurious and magnificent palace appeared in front of them. Many gods were stationed at the gate of the palace, but it was actually Amphitrite, the queen of the sea, who stood at the gate to greet the guests. Seeing the three of Apollo from a distance, she shouted in a joyful voice, Astraea, Hecate, and Apollo, I didn't expect you to come here together. Astraea walked in front and bowed slightly, I just went to visit Hecate not long ago, and we came here today. Goddess Amphitrite, you are so hospitable, how did you greet him so early? Amphitrite chuckled lightly, isn't this worried that the gods under him are careless and offend you guests? Come, go and sit inside first, and get close to my terry tong. You young gods should be together more so that there will be no conflicts in the future. Under the guidance of Amphitrite, the three of Apollo came to the shrine. In a palace full of gorgeous ornaments, there were already quite a few gods sitting, among them was a blue-haired boy who looked elegant and kind. When the gods inside saw the arrival of the three, they all stood up to say hello. Goddess Astraea, you are as beautiful as ever. Goddess Hecate, you are so clean today. The attention of the gods was all focused on Astraea and Hecate, but few people paid attention to Apollo. Only the blue-haired boy at the top stood up and walked in front of Apollo, smiled and said, You are Apollo, the child of goddess Leto and his majesty the king of God. Mother said that you are a beautiful and extraordinary god, and she will endure it when she sees it. Can't stop admiring, it really is not wrong. Prince Triton praised more beautiful. Apollo looked at him with a smile. Only then did the other gods notice Apollo and whispered to each other. This is the child of goddess Leto. I heard that when he was born, the sky was full of morning light, and the scene was no less than when the goddess Athena was born. Well, it is indeed a beautiful and extraordinary god, and I can feel that his power seems to be very powerful. He was only born for more than twenty years, and it seems that he has not lost to us. I just don't know when he will have a chance to board Olympus. I heard that goddess Hera has murdered him several times. Well, it depends on his majesty the god king. I don't know why, since goddess Leto gave birth, his majesty the god king has not shown up. The gods were talking. Apollo, however, looked around indifferently, quietly looking for the displayed high-level treasure chest. At this moment, a sneer suddenly came from outside. It's just a wild species born by the father outside. There are several like him every year. How many of them can climb to Olympus? The gods stared at the past. Ares, the god of war in thick armor, holding a giant sword, and exuding a violent momentum, came indifferently. Eyes full of tyranny, staring at Apollo indifferently. For a moment, the entire palace fell silent. Triton, the host, 
hurriedly stood up to smooth things out. Master Ares, I didn't expect you to come to my coming of age ceremony too. Unexpectedly, Ares just glared at him coldly, showing no face, get out of the way, I didn't talk to you. Saying that, he pushed Triton away, strode in front of Apollo, and said condescendingly, only I, Ares, the son of God the Father is the best, and the rest of you are not worthy of the blood of God the Father. Really, do you think I'm very unfamiliar with the name of the son of Zeus? Feeling the violent aura coming in, Apollo's eyes turned cold. At this moment, a light laughter came from outside. Alas, my younger brothers just owe me a fight, and they like to be embarrassed outside, which makes my sister very helpless. As soon as the voice came out, Ares' face turned red. He clenched his palms tightly and looked back, his throat almost growling, Athena, you are here too. Outside the tall palace gate, I don't know when I walked into a beautiful figure of heroic and sassy. She looked like a girl of 16 or 17 years old, with a graceful figure in golden armor, holding a bright spear, and walking in the direction of victory. Delicate facial features, even the best sculptors are difficult to carve 1% of the spirit. A pair of bright eyes, full of light belonging to wisdom, stared at the gods in the temple with a faint smile. And behind her, followed by an elegant girl with a pair of white wings. Follow with proud eyes, goddess Athena. Many gods could not help but stand up to meet the most powerful and legendary goddess of Olympus. Athena smiled back to them, and walked to the middle of Ares and Apollo step by step. She said to Apollo first, the younger brother I have never met, I am your eldest sister Athena. It can indeed be called the eldest sister, because her mother, the goddess of wisdom, Meti, is Zeus' first wife and her child is also the first child. Just before Athena was born, Meti was swallowed by Zeus, and finally Athena was born from Zeus's head. Zeus had already had many other sons and daughters by then. Apollo looked up at the most famous heroic goddess in Greek mythology, with a calm expression, I only have one sister. If you can make her admit that you are her sister, then I don't mind calling you sister. Athena's mouth curled into an arc. Brother with the same hair color, you have a great personality. Your sister is called Artemis. I heard that she is also excellent. I look forward to the day when I meet her. Saying that, she turned her attention to Ares. I'm also surprised to see you here. After all, you are much more likely to appear on the bed of a goddess than at a banquet. Athena's voice was quiet, but it was full of sarcasm and provocation in Ares' ears. He firmly held the giant sword in his hand, and a violent murderous aura erupted from his body, Athena, the last time I lost to you was just a moment of carelessness. Once again, I will make you humbly submit to me. Feeling the astonishing murderous aura on Ares, Athena's smile grew stronger. I don't mind letting you know what failure is again, but I think goddess Amphitrite and her majesty Poseidon both mind you making noise here. Ares was startled and hurriedly returned the sword to its sheath. The sea emperor Poseidon, the elder brother of the father god Zeus, is by no means an existence that can be easily provoked. But when he retracted his sword and looked at Athena's fingertips, what he saw was the empty temple gate. No gods came out at all. Ha ha, I really can't bear to deceive you. Athena covered her mouth and laughed. The other gods in the palace couldn't help but snicker. Ares was so furious that he was about to draw his sword again. Suddenly, a majestic voice came from outside, Ares, who do you want to duel with at my son's bar mitzvah? His Majesty the Sea Emperor. All the gods stood up in awe and respectfully greeted the people who came outside. Only Ares stood in the center of the hall with a blushing face, looking at the sword in his hand, speechless. Humph. Sea Emperor Poseidon hummed coldly and glanced at Ares with a bad look. He shouted, get out. Bang. A mighty force, like a turbulent wave, lifted Ares and his sword out of the hall in an instant. Ares was sent by Hera to trouble me. Does this god-queen have any misunderstanding about her son, and she dares to show shame at such a level? Apollo silently looked at Ares who fell outside, his eyes fixed on the sea emperor Poseidon. The king of the sea, wearing a blue robe studded with bright pearls, wearing a majestic crown, holding a trident, and a full face of beard, set off a masculine atmosphere. Amphitrite, the queen of the sea, followed him, holding his left with her right hand, and looked at the gods with a light smile. But the strange thing is that Poseidon is also accompanied by a plump nymph, holding a huge baby in his hand. The baby was filled with a heavy earth breath. 
Apollo narrowed his eyes. Is this the child born by Mother Earth, Antaeus? What does Poseidon mean by bringing his youngest son to his eldest son's bar mitzvah so conspicuously? Not only Apollo, but the gods present noticed the baby's breath and fell into contemplation. Poseidon, however, ignored their reaction, led Amphitrite to the top throne, and picked up the baby. Facing the gods, Poseidon said solemnly, Today is the coming of age ceremony of my proudest child. Even I am honored to have so many gods to congratulate. He looked at Amphitrite and Triton beside him with loving eyes, and the latter two also had happy expressions on their faces. At this moment, Poseidon raised the baby in his hand and announced to the gods. But I also want to introduce my child to the gods. His name is Antaeus, he is the child of me and Mother Earth. He has the best bloodline among the gods, and will surely be one of the greatest gods in the future. For a moment, Amphitrite's and Triton's faces were a little awkward. The gods present also felt that something was wrong, but they were all concerned about the majesty of the sea emperor and responded with smiles. The emperor of the sea can actually make Mother Earth give birth to a child. It's really amazing. Yes, combining the bloodlines of the sea emperor and the earth mother, Prince Antaeus will definitely be a great god not inferior to the twelve titans when he grows up. I can already foresee such a future. Under the leadership of the sea emperor and Prince Antios, the ocean will become the head of the gods of all parties. The flattery of the gods made Poseidon's face full of smiles, and Amphitrite on the side was more and more secluded. Only after Apollo said a few words with Astraea and Hecate, he quietly blended into the crowd. After searching for a while, he found what he was looking for in a corner. Advanced treasure chest, I don't know what to open this time. Taking the treasure chest he found, Apollo walked a little further. After coming to the periphery of the sea emperor shrine and confirming that there was no one around, he opened the treasure chest. After a burst of light, a voice flashed in my mind. Ding, you opened a high-level treasure chest and obtained the divine dawning domain, two stars, the divine instrument lyre, two stars, and the source crystal asterisk 130. A two-star divine art plus a two-star divine weapon is not bad luck. Apollo smacked his lips. It didn't take long for the divine technique, donning Doma in to appear in his mind. This is a magical technique that allows the door to form a space that is uniquely dominated by oneself within the range of the whole body. As long as you are in the field, you are invincible. Apollo was very satisfied with this magic. At the same time, he looked down at the lyre in his hand. It was a beautiful golden lyre with smooth lines and seven slender and long strings. Touching his hand, Apollo couldn't help but try the tone. Apollo, the god of light in Greek mythology, is the most elegant and artistic of the male gods. At the same time, the god of light, prophecy, and medicine is also the god of music and art. After crossing over, Apollo also inherited such artistic cells, and even the primary treasure chest was proficient in music and art. But never bothered to try. At this moment, Stroking the Shenchen in his hand with a two-star system rating, he couldn't help it. Sitting in the uninhabited side hall, he put the lyre on his lap, looked at the dark moonlight on the bottom of the sea, and listened to the sound of the rushing water. Flick your fingers lightly, Jung. The crisp sound of the piano sounded suddenly, and the water waves echoed around. Apollo didn't want people to hear his own piano sound, so he set up a sound insulation magic. In the gloom, he somewhat recalled the days in his previous life, as well as the bits and pieces that happened in this world for more than twenty years. The fiddling sound of the piano became gentle, like flowing water, splashing on the sea surface, smashing continuously. There is only vague light on the dark seabed, and the Sea King Palace not far away is brightly lit. Apollo's heart suddenly became extremely peaceful, and the melodious sound of the piano reverberated around him. Hey! Why is there no sound at all? In the noisy banquet, Athena quietly walked away with the god Nikki, and suddenly became keenly aware of it. There should have been the sound of water flowing everywhere on the seabed, but there was no sound at all. Could it be that some god is ill-intentioned, lurking there? As the goddess of war, Athena has a very strong sense of crisis. She winked at her subordinate goddess, and Nikki, the goddess of victory with beautiful wings, immediately understood. Athena carefully restrained her breath, followed by Nikki, blessing the two with the priesthood of victory. Makes Athena's ability to shield the breath more powerful. The two quickly came to the place where the sound was cut off. 
Athena's eyes flashed, and she used the power of the priesthood of wisdom. The priesthood of wisdom has two main functions, one is to obtain information from the outside world, and the other is to process the obtained information. That is to know and think. What Athena is using at this moment is the ability to detect. She is one of the most powerful main gods of Olympus, how can the soundproof magic that Apollo cast at will to resist her full strength detection? In an instant, Athena broke through the soundproof layer, heard the voice inside, and saw the blonde boy playing the piano quietly inside. She froze in place. On the dark bottom of the sea, the water flow kept surging, and the huge water pressure shrouded every living being walking, and the endless cold filled the place where the sun could not be seen. The long sound of the piano penetrated the water, walking in the endless darkness and cold. The slender ten fingers plucked the silk strings, and the smooth tones echoed around. Athena suddenly remembered the dark time when she lived in her father's body. So cold, so dark, constantly looking for light. Break all shackles and come to this world. Athena. Nikki's worried voice woke Athena. The goddess of wisdom stood there a little bit lost, but her eyes penetrated the darkness, focusing on the blonde boy who was stroking the lyre inside. His fingertips suddenly lifted the drooping hair, which was also as bright as gold. If the younger brother is still alive, he should be so blonde. Athena murmured in her heart. Like Apollo and Artemis, she is actually a twin brother and sister. The younger brother Boros was predicted to be the fourth generation of god kings before he was born, so their father Zeus did not hesitate to swallow the mother Métis, who was still pregnant with the child. She and her brother were born in her father's body, but the conditions there allowed only one person to live. The younger brother knew that if he came out alive, he would only die, so he left the chance of life to his elder sister. This is where the goddess of wisdom was born from the head of the god king. That memory is very far away, I shouldn't recall. Athena admonished herself. Unless the gears of fate turn one day, a new king is born. Otherwise, she should forget this memory and be at ease as the best daughter of the king of the gods and the most splendid goddess of Olympus. This is the life of the mother and brother Yang in exchange. Hatred can only be buried deep in the heart. But looking at the elegant and handsome young man in front of her, she couldn't help but think of this memory. Suddenly, the plucked piano stopped. Apollo slowly opened his eyes and looked at the two beautiful figures standing outside. Putting away the lyre on his lap, he stood up and said, Goddess Athena, do you like the sound of my piano? Just play the piano, what are you doing hiding in a dark place? The goddess of victory Nikki replied with disdain, she didn't hear the sound of the piano at all. Athena was smiling. Walking to Apollo, he took a close look at Apollo's lyre, and said with admiration, what a delicate harmonica, it's really suitable to match with you, brother. Apollo felt that her eyes were a little strange, but he couldn't tell. Suddenly, Athena came up and gently stroked his head. When Apollo was stunned, she whispered in his ear, one day, I will make you willing to call me my sister. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.